picture in the, in the five hole. Uh, Whitehurst. Keith Hernandez, we're saying goodbye. And Keith Hernandez will be a pitcher. Getting a standing ovation from the crowd that senses that this may be the last time they get to see Keith Hernandez. Can it possibly be that it's been over six years since Keith Hernandez arrived in New York? In June of 1983, the media and fans alike trumpeted the arrival of Keith Hernandez as the heart of the Mets' plan for building a champion. They hoped his gold glove would solidify the defense. They also hoped his proven bat would fill a hole in the middle of the order. But after Keith stepped in, they knew they had the man who would show the young New York Mets how to win. And it's Dexterity with the glove was unforgettable. Cruz with a ground ball. It's a fair ball, and Hernandez has got it. Woo! Well, it's a time. What a play. Look at Hernandez. A golden glove first baseman makes a golden glove play. As a Met, Keith continued a string that resulted in 11 straight gold gloves, an all-time major league record for first baseman. Match knowledge of his position kept him a step ahead of the opposition and enabled him to make plays that other first basemen wouldn't have dreamed of trying. In one game, circumstances forced Gary Carter from catcher to third base, so the field general took over. There was plays as a runner on first and second on the whole runner on. And that particular play was a pitcher that was just called up. He's probably nervous to death. I just more or less took it for granted. Well, I didn't take it for granted. I knew that he was going to bunt. There was no doubt in my mind that he was going to do anything but bunt. He did, and I went right there on top of the play. He didn't get it down the third baseline enough. To get it by me, they have to hit it hard on the third baseline, and I take that away, and it's an easy two. With his intensity and talent, he had commanded the entire diamond from his own little corner of the world. gesture of encouragement or a well-timed word of advice, Mex made his presence felt nine innings a game, 162 games a year. And in recognition of his unique value, the Mets named Hernandez the first captain in team history.
Leeds play that showed the Mets what winning was all about. In 1985 September showdown with St. Louis, Keith proved to his teammates that the Mets could be champions. Base hit left field. Here comes Wilson. Coleman can't come up with it. Mets win. Seven to six. The Mets win. turned out to be a dress rehearsal for 86, when in the decisive playoff game with Houston, Keith's critical hit helped lift the Mets to the World Series. run of good fortune appeared to have finally run out in the seventh game of the World Series. The Mets were being shut out late in the game until Keith stepped up with the bases loaded. And a line drive, base hit, going in the gap in left center, the Billy will score. explosion followed, and the world championship it produced tasted especially sweet to the man who supported his teammates on their long climb to the top. And if Keith was the backbone of the Mets championship, then the nerve center was Gary Carter. In Montreal, he was a seven-time All-Star performer. And the first time he teamed with Dwight Gooden, Gary Carter called the signals that struck out the side in the 1984 All-Star game. The next season, Carter was a Met, and New York had the game's premier catcher. From behind home plate, he orchestrated the New York Mets' rise to the top. ability to join Keith Hernandez as co-captain of the Mets. Class, confidence, courage, competitiveness. But what really set Gary apart from other catchers in baseball was what happened when he got out from behind the plate and stepped up to it. game as a New York Met, Gary Carter came through in the clutch. In the 1985 home opener against the St. Louis Cardinals, Carter immediately endeared himself to the New York fans with a game-winning home run in extra innings. memorable milestones of Carter's career came on August 11th, 1988. Only three catchers in baseball history have hit more home runs than Gary Carter. But perhaps his finest moments as a Met were singles that he hit during the 1986 playoffs. In the 12th inning of Game 5 with Houston, the Astros intentionally walked Keith Hernandez, bringing Carter to the plate. Although he was only 1 for 21 in the playoffs at that point, Gary was not about to let his teammates down. In Game 
6 of the World Series, the Mets were in a similar situation. Boston should have known better than to pitch to Gary Carter.